we've seen, though, the last of Victor Wembanyama in Summer League. He's still in Las Vegas. He's with his team. And yesterday he caught up with our Katie George, and he talked about his goals for next season. Those are particularly interesting. What up, Katie? I'm here with Victor Wembanyama. Your first summer league is in the books. How would you describe the experience? Um, very enriching. Uh, I learned a lot in just two games. Um, and also, it's, it, it was really a fun time. You know, the, the, the crowd was here. The arena was packed. I feel like, I feel like it's all of us, my, my teammates, I, my coaches, the fans, we all learned a lot, and it's promising for the future. That first night, every time you touched the ball, fans were screaming your name, yelling for you. What was that like? Uh, special, you know. Um, on the first night, I was really, I couldn't really hear anything, you know. Uh, but uh, I realized that whenever I got the ball and I started, I, 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 squ I squared up for my one-on-one. -on -one, I had like people starting to cheer. That was re that felt really special. I liked it. I'm sure you did. What was the difference between game one and game two for you? For me. The difference was clear. It was the, the the energy, you know. I hadn't played in a long time. I had like two practices, uh, only two practices before the first game. So I needed to get back in, in shape. And uh, it was the, the level of energy, the biggest difference. Because on the second game, I did everything faster, all the all the movements, even on half court, you know, and just... This is how we got to play every time. When you think of the opportunity that you're going to receive playing for Krep Popovich, how special is that going to be? You know, it's, yeah, really special. You know, I, I feel like he he thinks it's, a, it's going to be a special time too because he he's really, he's he, he cares a lot about me. He talks to me a lot pretty much every day. And to me, it's just such a chance to have, a, a, a person, this experience, and this who's who's been so successful in his life, he knows how to do it. I could follow him with my eyes closed, and this is this is easy to do. There's no better teacher, truly. What would you consider a success in your rookie season? Um, having a better record record for my team than last year, and uh, I'm I've been looking into into all the data of the, the, of the past years, the past number one picks, and uh, what impact they, they've had. And I'm trying to be better than every guy before me. If we were to look to the future years from now and imagine the impact you will have on this league, what's your dream for your career? As many titles as I can. Um, I know it's, it's not easy to win even one. Some guys have been trying to do it for their whole life and couldn't make it. And uh, um, I wish I can. I hope I, uh, I'll be a part someday of the, the very exclusive group that actually has multiple championships, multiple rings. But uh, there's a long way. We hope so, too. Thank you for the time. Thanks. All right. So here are some of the best rookie seasons by a big since the merger. So he put team first and then individual goals. But, of course, we've got to talk about the individual goals. Is it a reasonable one, Richard? Hell no. Not zero chance. <laughs> Let me say, I say, guys, you know I like to joke. I like to play. Do you? I love his mentality. I love his approach. But, again, it's the same thing when yesterday we were talking about his agent was saying, oh, he does need to get stronger. Look at Kareem. Well, Kareem well, at 19 wasn't playing against grown men. He didn't start playing against grown men until he's 22, 23. So, my thing is this. Shaq, Shaq came in after his junior year. Shaq was 20. David Robinson was like 24 when he finally showed up to the NBA. So that 25 points a game, he did four years of college, did, did a Naval Academy. So it's just the gap in the development of these individuals before they showed up is what separates them. Victor's going to have a great season. He doesn't have a chance at any of those three records, and mainly because Pop is not going to play him 40 minutes a night like a lot of those guys were playing. Park? I agree with Richard for the third time today. And, and look, this is what I think Victor Wimbayaba don't realize. Like, it's almost like when you're the champions, right? Like, we know every single time or every night that Denver, the Denver Nuggets step yeah, on the floor this upcoming point. season, teams are going to be getting up for them. Yep. It's going to be the same thing with the San Antonio Spurs and yes. Victor Wimbayaba. And is. not only are teams are going to be getting up, Right. Not only teams, but you're going to have guys like Giannis, Embiid, Ooh. Jokic, Katz. Those guys are going to be going at him. They want to see it. Now, they're going to give you all the praise in the world publicly, but when you get in between those yeah. lines, 
They're going to try to test you and, and make no mistake about it. Again, I go back to when he was telling you, Malika, that like he, he don't really feel pressure. <laughs> he haven't started the NBA season yet. <laughs> Let's revisit this around Christmas break and see if he's feeling pressure by then. All I'm going to say is I remember in 04 in the Olympics, uh, actually it was 03, before LeBron James had even come in, and these guys, it was T-Mac, it was AI. You played in the Olympics? It was a, yeah, yeah, well, no, nah, oh. I played Yeah, have, have you seen bit. Redeem Team? I have a few. <laughs> I, no, it was, <laughs> right. it was I know, the one before were that. Sad I, have, I have a bronze medal, but it's look, it's gold-plated, so it's all fine. Yeah. <laughs> my issue is this. My issue That's is how this. you do it. All of these guys were like, oh, oh, they're looking for him. They're going to actively hunt him. Yep. They know he is next. There is no question. They know that this guy is going to has a chance to carry the mantle, but they want to make sure that they understand that right now the mantle belongs to Embiid, Jokic, Braun. All of these guys are going to stake their claim. You've seen Game of Thrones. Just yeah, watch it. It's not easy. You know, my rookie year after getting drafted number one, it was not easy. Like and you're in a Okay, but there we I'm go. No, but I'm going to say this was a long time ago for me. This was a long time ago, and it was not easy because the circumstances that I entered were very similar. Go ahead and roll your eyes, but this is fine. <laughs> you think you're drafted Thank number you. one. I was going to okay. say this. Uh, he's going into a system-oriented team, well-coached. He's not going to just go out there and say, I like that he said team first. He's not going to go out there and just try to play Victor Webb and Yamba ball. He doesn't seem like that type of guy. Um, but I do like this idea that he's setting goals for himself. As I think should. another goal should be to play as many games as possible. Another goal, you mentioned Giannis Antetokounmpo. Look at Giannis's rookie year picture and look at Giannis now. Yeah. We know that this is going to be a process. So, you know, the idea to have the best rookie season ever is like the mentality you want your star future mm -hmm. of the league franchise player to have. The point. But the reality is, is that it's going to be a process. He knows that, but he also knows that he has to give people something to be excited about, which he did in his second game playing in Summer League, which I was very proud of. You know how many games he played last year throughout all competitions? Like 44. Yeah, I was going to say 50. 44. Sounds like a college kid. Okay. Like, that's, you know, he's only played 40. The Spurs are not going to let him play every game. Come on now. The Spurs pioneered load management, and they're going to coax him along and protect him. Even if he wants to play all 82, I, I doubt they would ever even yep. think about letting him play 82. So the, the, this idea that he's going to play in every national TV game or go see him every he, he's never done that before. He's never even done half of that. So let's let's calm down a little bit with those extra. Oh, you better play in those you national televised games. Yeah, I mean, you better rookie. play in those national televised games. Some, <laughs> like you're no. Some. Sit, no. Oh. And this is, to your point, Ramon, I like what you're saying. He better play in those national televised games because it's like, Schedule it out. Schedule his rest when he's playing Charlotte and nobody's watching. Oh, Brandon Miller versus Victor no one, Webber, That won't be on national television. People are going to want to see uh -huh. that. The Spurs, their win total is 30 and a half. Ooh, this is tricky. Is this a 30-win team? No. Perk? 29. That's a seven-win total. I'm going with Richard. Yeah, nope. seven, seven going, more wins. I'm going with 20, 27 wins. Yeah, 27 wins, 27, eight, 27, 28 wins. It's always a good day when these two agree. I can't see agree. them getting 30 wins. They're going to get a pick. They're going to try. They're going to do well enough, and then they'll get a top 10 pick <laughs> next year. You can build around and start adding the pieces. Then that's the time that maybe you bring in some free agents and start spending a ton of that cap space. But to say that they're going to jump, I like Wimby, but I don't think the Spurs are going to push them to 35 minutes a night, Look. and they're not going to play. 82 games. What I'll say is they're going to sell out either way. Either way, yeah. they sell it they're out. They're going to sell out. They're going to be box office either way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm with you. But you see how she didn't make it back? <laughs> she doesn't have She's make back like she, she never God. left. God. I love it. She is back. And we actually have an SB award winner. Yes, you do. In our midst. Yes, you do. One Mr. Goodness. Richard Jefferson. Yes, he yes, won in I 2016. Am. The Cavaliers, they were picked as the team of the year. Where's the Richard? We're the footage? team of the decade. I don't know what they, that, we got a short change on that. Yeah. He might be spitting a little bit of facts. Yeah, we, we were team the decade, but it's cool. It's no big deal. Look, at the end of the day, I still have the SB because no one took it from me, mm. uh, and that's what it was. But, Chanae, what exactly happened So here? I noticed something. Richard, you can talk us through it, okay? Please. In this moment, really, I think people are on. here for you. I'm going to stop it right here because there's two things happening. One, why did you bring your phone out? So <laughs> well, because I was the Snapchat Wait, hold kid, on. And then, you asked oh, me a question. Wait, I have a second part. And then watch what your boy does. So this was not TikTok. This was Snapchat. This was Snapchat. Because he's Snapchat. like, bro, what are you doing with your phone? No, 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 no. Listen, for people that remember circa 2016 before Instagram got stories, I was the Snapchat man. That's wait, what I and was you're doing. the only one who has a button down. I guess we none of us should be surprised. But, but wait no. for this too, Richard. Look, I was, still, I was still being nice. I only had one button. Okay. I mean, we know two of these guys. Do you know what happens next? What happens next? Okay, watch this, guys. Watch, watch it. I don't know if this is a block or a charge when you try to take the mic. Oh, no. <laughs>
Uh, no. no. They wanted Channing there. They wanted Channing in front because this was like he didn't get the play in the finals. Try to take it again. I got no. it. No. No. I was like, where are the drinks at? Where the drinks? Out. That's fine. They can box that me out. They know. Moment. That was elite. First of all, this is still the text chain. Block that charge. That is true. Yeah. I'm gonna say, true. I'm gonna say charge. Yeah. Charge? No. That was a charge. First I would say of all, charge. listen, if, if Brown wants the mic, then you give Brown the mic. Man. You didn't. Listen, though. yeah. What? You didn't. Hey, Richard. We well, got some of it. What? It's your favorite part of the show. Oh, we got back in 60 seconds. Yes, that's my. We're back in 60 seconds. Wow. Two. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.